and welcome back to Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach. Um, today I'm gonna do the endoskeleton level because it was definitely one of the harder ones out of most of the ones that I saw. Um, I myself had a lot of trouble with it, um, but I think I found one of the more reliable ways of getting through without getting jump scared 100% of the time. So I have a save slot already with the level before it even starts. So once you're once you're here, the first part of the level itself is really, really easy to get past. I think I can consistently get past it 100% of the time. It's really simple. Come here, right? Hey, um, that wall just moved. Just taking more crackery. Come over to this side. I'm trying to get it a little past there. That way you can walk right around him. Once you've done that, back up to this corner, and you should be able to see this thing right here. Step right in front of it, flip around, press the button. Right, and then so you can start this running. is what you look Once like you inside. Up here, right around, Creepy. you're gonna see him. I like you better with your back shovel. A little, and then just sprint because he won't be able to catch you. And once you're at this button, stop, turn around, don't press it. Wait for your stamina, press the button, hit them, and run. You're gonna take a right immediately, take another right. You should be able to do this all without losing all of your stamina. You will be close though. Sorry, I uh, like it. You can run directly into this room and they won't be able to harm you. Sorry, you have to do this all pretty fast because of the, uh, the whole them being fast. Um, but yeah, once you get in here, they can't really hear you. That's this line. It's kind of their, uh, their no-no zone. You can sit there for a second, but then you'll turn around. Alright. Sick. Leave! This is not happening. Even now. God, oh my. I'm just gonna get to this room. You can't see me. Leave. It's okay. Sorry. <sighs> anyway. All you have to do now is uh, use your cameras. Cameras in this level are going to help a lot, um, especially because you can actually see them move on the cameras. For this spot, I recommend this camera here and this one because you get to see whether there's ones in this room. This room in particular is uh, a harder spot. Once you can get past this hallway, this main one right here, um, you've really won the level. It's it's fairly straightforward at that point, um, but it can get, it can get a little difficult with timing and such. So if I I'm gonna try to go just about now. Um, that. This guy's gonna activate, and then I can here. See that dude. Around and run right past. See, that was really good right there. Um, these ones won't activate until you have to hit the button. I would say, wait right here, this is a good stopping spot. As long as you're looking this way, they won't come over. Um, you hit that button, sprint directly to the office. But this, once you enter the office, it's you have to be relatively office. quick because. Um, Should be one of those bad head things in here. You're gonna see that they're not coming down this way so you want to be really quick and pick up the security badge walk over towards the door face the room that way when they I can open do that the service now. Oh, come on. you can walk out this way be fine walk out backwards walk out backwards and your safe is right here and 
But yeah, that's how to do that part. If you're really worried about it, you can just bait one into holding the door open whilst you make your save. But yeah, it's pretty simple. After that part, you just hop in the vent. Um, they, they lose you once you come over here. Alright, once you're over here, you can either hide. Actually, no, hiding doesn't work right there. Forgot. Um, you just have to jump up on this thing right here. Er, jump, I guess. Oh. just loses me. Yeah. They're pretty easy to lose. Um, they're stuck. Um, yeah, they get, uh, they get lost pretty easily. You hop back in here, and you just make your way through with the music man chasing you, doing whatever he does. Anyway, this dude, uh, just deactivated. Walk past him. That's that. That's that whole part. That only took us, like, 30 minutes to figure out this time. Which was pretty good. Um, I think that makes it for this video. And, uh, again, if you want me to do more videos on how to do stuff like this, I'll for sure do them. They're really fun to make and figure out. Because it helps me learn how to do these levels as well making me better at the game so yeah they're really fun to make so if you need any levels just do let me know and uh i'll try to make sure i can get a a way to be there anyways thank you for watching and uh yeah bye